is Tay's Pink and I think I've found one of the sexiest, most affordable wigs yet. This unit from RPG here is Life and we're going to do everything from customize to tint the lace and show you how to install it using just one product so you definitely don't want to miss it. So this is the pre-plucked 360 lace wig and this is the silky straight texture. This is Indian Remy hair for all my girls who want to know and it's long and luxurious about 16 to 18 inches and inside you get an adjustable and removable strap sis. I like this strap. This is it. This is a good look. Now towards the front you get about two inches of bleached knots to make it look more realistic. You guys can see it's pre-plucked but I definitely wanted to do a bit more pre-plucking to make it look Look even more natural I mean since we're saving money we can go in and make it look even more realistic but the first thing I wanted to do is apply some foaming mousse to the front of the unit and I'm gonna go in and just part out a little bit of hair across the front edge or the perimeter hairline and I'm just gonna go in and tweeze now I do have other videos so I will have those listed below if you're interested in like learning more so when you're plucking your unit you definitely want to pluck about 10 to 15 seconds and continue moving around you don't want to stay situated in one spot you know you can create like a bald spot or it can be inconsistent across the front edge a part of making this look natural is you know you start towards the front edge then you part another section further into the lace on the unit so that you're creating better transitional density so i know that sounds a little bit crazy but don't stay in one area too long you guys are gonna see how i transformed the hairline on this unit and just being strategic parting small sections taking your time combing each section so you know how much hair you're removing because you don't want it to be too thick and you also don't want it to be too thin now you see this unit is already coming together i even tweezed a little bit near the parting space but this looks so gorgeous it's like let me put a little bit of foaming mousse on it so y'all can get the real feel but look at how this left side looks like says come on we did that and so look at this side in comparison to the right side like look what we did we did magic so i'm just going to do the same thing on the opposite side again tweezing for about 10 to 15 seconds and then moving across the front edge and then parting further into the body of the unit so i knew i wanted to do something different i'm always wearing something straight or with a slight body wave or curl and so i thought let's be extra dramatic and give like hollywood glam tees so i'm using a flat iron to curl the hair i can't really get into using a curling iron right now because i always burn myself but I used a flat iron with a smaller width to give tighter curls and I'm literally just curling the flat iron under. This gives me that kind of Shirley Temple curl but we're definitely going to make it very grown up, very sexy. And make sure that after you're done curling you want to hold the curl in place, spray it with a bit of free spray and you know as it cools that's when you can let it go. And so if you want to take this to the next level, what I do is take all of the curls and put them into a hairnet. So I just like put the whole wig into a hairnet and it helps to contain the curls and keep them very tight. And this hair holds curls beautifully. Like I can't even begin to tell you these curls barely drop. And when they drop, it takes so much time and you can literally slay for the entire day. Now I didn't want to do baby hairs so I'm just taking a bit of that foaming mousse from earlier and using it to kind of accentuate that hairline and pull all of the hairs back. I want to start the molding process and so I'm just going to clip the hair away and then trim my lace. Again no baby hairs, we're slaying without it, we're giving that adult kind of look. No I'm joking but I just I like how natural this looks. Now definitely take your time as you're doing this because you don't want to cut off too much lace. I would rather cut a little bit more and then fix it up later but you guys see this lace it's a little bit dark for me so I thought I saw on YouTube some tutorials using the Sally Hansen airbrush legs and I just put a little bit on a little piece of paper this card that came with the wig and I 
took a Real Techniques kind of buffing brush and I lightly tap this on to the front edge of the unit. Now what this does is give the lace a nice tint and it really matches my complexion. You guys are gonna see this lace kind of melt into the skin like the girls that did this on YouTube, I wanna give thanks to y'all because it definitely helps, but you don't wanna press too hard because it will transfer onto the actual hair. I did end up getting a bit onto the hair, but you can just take a little bit of foaming mousse, water, or alcohol with a spoolie just to lift it from the hair. And see, it's super easy just to remove the little airbrush spray tint and it's perfectly fine. Don't even worry about it, sis. But I definitely wanted to set this using the Got To Be Free spray. Like this will be your friend. And this is also how we're gonna install our wig. So I put baby girl on, the curls are still tight. Like I can't make this up. I installed this unit three times before doing this review because I wanted to make sure I could give true tea. Now I'm putting all of the hair back and I'm gonna take the ear tabs and clip them back because you want to have your unit placed exactly where you want it to lay when you install it. So all you're doing is just pulling the tabs and the lace down right onto the free spray. Now I'm gonna use a rat tail comb to secure the lace in place and I'm going to use my blow dryer on the cool setting, very cool setting, high cool setting. So we can speed this up because you know, we got places to go and you wanna take your time blowing it so that it stays put. Once it stays put, you can move on to the next section. I'm doing this in increments and I highly recommend you guys do this because if you have an error, you make a mistake, it's easier to fix rather than trying to spray the whole thing down. If you're more advanced, you can skip this step, do it how you please, but for the beginners, this is a really good step. Now I'm giving you guys a more close up look. Do you see the meltdown on this? Like I can't even make this up sis, okay? I'm giving y'all realness. This is how it looks, effortless. That airbrush plays no games. If you apply a modest amount and you do it and you take your time, sis, look at the results. Now we're not done just yet. I'm gonna take a satin scarf and wrap it very tightly around the perimeter hairline. And I'm going to let this set for about 15 to 30 minutes. And then during that time, I'm definitely gonna comb through the curls just with my fingers to kind of loosen them up. And you don't have to be too harsh. You can use your fingers to gently, you know, unravel the curls. Now after about 15 to 30 minutes, I'm just going to take my hot comb and use this to further accentuate the hairline and kind of pull the hair away from the front edge so it looks even more realistic. Like we did all this work, we gotta make it count. And, and look at the sexiness, it's coming. Like this hair is so sexy. Now I did a little bit of a little sideburn action. This is optional, but I don't know. I did just like subtle layers on this unit too. The layering on this is perfect. Again, it's like 16 to 18 inches. It's 180% density. This is why this hair is like giving me so much life. Take your paddle brush. You know, give it a little bit more of a, a go and you will see these curls transform. You don't have to add any free spray, any wax, you know, to kind of hold it in place. This unit is so gorgeous and it holds the curl and so it just looks so good. So it's like, oh, yes, honey. But I hope you guys enjoy. Definitely check out RPG Hair. They have a ton of sales. You can use Pink Tin to get money off or K30 if you purchase two or more wigs. 
definitely get into it. Be sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. If you like this look, share with your homeboys, your homegirls, you never know who wants to slay. Meet me in the comments. I love kikiing with you all, and I hope I see you in the next one.